Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you for the near future? Keep in mind that these readings will not resonate every single time for Pisces and um, not every reading is for you. So take what resonates, what applies. If you find that this doesn't apply much to you, then check out the Pisces playlist in the description box. Plenty of readings there for Pisces. Let's jump right in for Pisces. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, please. Clarity for Pisces. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person that Pisces is? Okay, if I could shuffle. What do we need to know about this person that Pisces is thinking about or connecting with? What are their energies towards Pisces? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I can't seem to grab this deck. What are their energies towards Pisces at this time, Spirit? What are their energies towards Pisces at this time? What are they thinking, feeling? For Pisces, what do we need to know about this person's energies? Seven of Swords, okay. What do we need to know about this person's energies? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, three of pentacles. I'm getting like someone could be watching you secretly here. They're doing something that's like behind your back or behind the scenes. Maybe they're watching you work. Maybe you are investing in yourself, improving yourself in some way, looking good, looking great. Nine of pentacles here. But I'm also getting that for some of you, this is someone who is already involved with a particular person and acts single. I'm getting a lot of messages here. So eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Let's get a little bit more insight. Tell me more about this person's energies. This person that Pisces is dealing with. Connecting with. What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know about this person's energies? Inner voice. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. Coming together. Can I get one more? Again, there's something here that's happening in the dark or secretly, silently. Can I get more um, insight into this person's energy? True love. Okay, so the feelings are there. This person... Definitely thinks of you as someone special. Maybe this is a special connection, a very different type of connection. We have love letter at the bottom of the deck. So eight of wands was at the bottom of the deck when I put down the tarot. So there could be some sort of message here that this person is thinking about sending you. Let's see. What's the seven of swords all about? Why is the seven of swords here? Eight of swords, fear, stuck energy. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Ten of Swords. Four of Swords. Okay, see? There's like no action, no communication. There has been an ending here. Maybe you and this person separated in the past. And I feel like there's someone that's like still keeping tabs on you despite that. Despite an ending here. I don't know if this is an ending in their own life, separate from you. Let me get a different deck here. Like away from you, if they're having an ending on in their personal life, let's see. What is this ending about? Spirit, tell me about this Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Devil, Capricorn energy. So some sort of unhealthy attachment. Difficulty, restriction, five of pentacles. Yeah, your person um, is not doing well with this ending. Maybe they lost something. Two of wands. Okay, now they have a choice to make. Maybe they want to come back. Tell me about the eight of swords. Why is the eight of swords here? Why is the eight of swords here? 
Three of Swords. Yeah, this was very painful for them. Why is the Four of Swords here? Ten of Wands. So, yeah. Your person has not done well with this Ten of Swords. I Again, I don't know if this was specifically a Ten of Swords with you. If it was, they can't let it go. If this was a, an ending with someone else, it, it was financially difficult, painful, and maybe they are still kind of stuck there. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. This is really a card about independence, stability, someone doing well for themselves. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. I feel this person is attracted to you. They can see you in some way. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. This is you. You are this Nine of Pentacles. I think you symbolize freedom. Yeah, they're manifesting you here. With the Magician, the Wheel of Fortune. It's like they're manifesting an opportunity, a turnaround, a lucky break. They want to come together very attracted to you and to this idea of being together I feel so why, why what is this three of pentacles here tell me about the three of pentacles the star Aquarius energy healing hope faith maybe they're hoping or having faith in working together working to heal this Queen of Wands Aries Leo Sagittarius they are really attracted to you there's something here the chemistry is very like palpable Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, this person has a lot of feelings for you. And there's the Page of Swords. Yeah, they're watching you, observing you. I don't know if this is through social media or if they can like see you in person, going to the gym, going to work or whatever. I think they have something to say as well because we keep getting this energy of like a message. What do we need to know about this person that Pisces is dealing with or connecting with, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person's energies? I made a mistake. I miss you. Very clear energies. Hmm, bottom of the deck, I have to give something up. So, yeah, I feel like this person has a choice to make. That's why that Two of Wands is probably there. So let's look at their intentions towards you, Pisces. This is all well and good, but what are their intentions here? What are this person's intentions towards Pisces? What are their intentions towards Pisces in the near future, Spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Why are my cards showing up upside down? What do we need to know, Spirit? For Pisces. What do we need to know about this person's intentions towards Pisces? I'm going to cut the deck, actually. Their intentions towards Pisces. Ten of Cups, Five of Swords. I'm telling you, my cards are showing up reverse. I'm going to take that one because for some, it's happening for some reason. So, Three of Wands reverse is like someone no longer wants to wait. No longer waiting around. Impatient. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. They clearly want a happy ending with you here. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Five of Pentacles, yeah. I think in their darkest moments, they think about this. This is their desire, their secret desire, I feel. I don't think they have communicated this. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. King of Swords is very astute, very perceptive, very intelligent, logical. I think this person understands like their predicament or understands what they're thinking or feeling. There's the Lovers Reverse, Gemini energy. So I feel like there's been a separation here that they still think about. This person like is still torn up about that, what happened, very affected by what happened because it caused them to lose a 10 of cups and they understand why it happened. I feel like this person understands what they need to do to fix it and why things happened the way they did. 
Tell me about the Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Deception. Ten of Pentacles. Sabotage as well. Five of Swords could be a, a card about sabotage. Failure. Someone trying to win at all costs. Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Yeah, this person, they might have been trying to juggle two different things and it blew up in their face here. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you have put up some sort of barrier or boundary between you and this person. And this person's hoping that, you know, maybe they just weren't able to give you what you deserved, Pisces. Maybe you felt breadcrumbed or felt like you were putting more into this connection than the other person. With the Six of Pentacles. And I don't know, I find it very fascinating that the Ten of Pentacles is here, which is about long-term commitments. So it could have been that this person was juggling more than two people. Because sometimes when I see that card, I think of someone that, especially with the Five of Swords, was unfaithful. Seven of Cups. I feel like this person is really thinking about how to get around this problem. Now, they're no longer waiting. So let's see what this Three of Wands reverse means. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Why is the Three of Wands reverse, Spirit? Because they have to give something up. Oh my gosh, the Tower reverse. Why am I getting so many reversals in this deck? The Tower reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to like hit rewind. Maybe a tower took place here between you and them and they're like having so many regrets here. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. Four of Wands. Happy home, happy life. Very similar to the Ten of Cups. It's like maybe they had something stable, something grounded. There was probably a tower there. Six of Swords. Okay, can I get one more? Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. The Sun. The Hermit reverse. My goodness. Virgo energy. So I feel like this person is no longer going to be quiet, no longer going to be withdrawn. They're making a move of some sort. What's the Six of Swords about? Spirit, why is the Six of Swords here? Five of Pentacles. Once again. Why is the Six of Swords here? Page of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Swords here? Spirit. The Star, Aquarius Energy. Yeah, they're hoping to heal things with you. They might come visit you here with the Six of Swords. Sometimes I think of that card like someone coming over to talk. Tell me about the tower reverse. Why is this tower reverse? Eight of Wands. Yeah. Why is this tower reverse? I think this person is hoping that the message they send you or whatever move they make here towards you. Knight of Wands. Yeah. That they're able to turn this around. That's, that's their hope right now. That they can turn things around. Yeah, there's the chariot. Cancer energy. This person is most likely going to come over to talk to you. And their goal is to turn things around, Pisces. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Pisces? Spirit. What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Pisces? And they have to give something up. Maybe they refused to do that in the past and they're understanding that it cost them. This could be anything. What do we need to know about their energies towards Pisces? Time hasn't changed my feelings for you. What's at the bottom of the deck? I am determined to make things right. Exactly. Because they were really affected by what happened. I feel like some of you are going to tell me that you don't care how they feel. <laughs> that's fair. I'm just letting you know what their intentions are, their feelings are towards you at this time. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.